That says Eugene Panarukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, today we have a HP Pavilion G7 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the cracked screen. All right, before we do anything, I'm going to remove the battery. It's on the bottom. We flip the laptop over, we slide this lever, like so, and lift up the battery. So now we remove the battery, we can work on the laptop safely. Okay, and let's talk about the tools we're going to need. We're going to need a pair of metal tweezers to extract screws that are stuck. An electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 stands for size. And just in case, I don't think we're going to use it, but we're going to have a smaller PH 0 bit for smaller screws. And we also have an exacto knife with a pointed blade, and that's to remove the plastic covers off the screws. Okay, <clears throat> like most laptops, this computer has a bezel that goes around the screen, which we need to remove. And the bezel is secured by two screws down here that are hiding behind some plastic covers, which we need to remove first. So we'll do that first. We're going to use our X-Acto knife to lift up the plastic covers. And what I like to do with the plastic covers is put them right next to the openings so that we don't lose them. And the screws for this series are fairly easy to get to. For other HP laptops, these screws are kind of hard to get to, but we're lucky in this case. So we start removing the screw. One. And two. Like so. Now that we remove the screw, we can start removing the screen bezel. This is probably the hardest part of the whole job. But if you take your time, you should be okay. It shouldn't be too bad. What I like to do is put my fingers on the screen side of the laptop and gently start lifting up the plastic with my fingertips and listen for snapping sounds. Snapping sounds are good. That means the screen is snapping off. Another trick is when I lift it up like this, I gently pull back on it towards me. That helps lift it up too. And if an area is stuck, leave it alone and just go around until you find a good area to work on. I do this a lot, so it's probably going to be faster for me. Or not. Okay, keep going and do the same thing on the bottom. Like so. And what sometimes needs to be done is there's a seam on the bottom right here with my fingernails or even um, the tweezers. I we work up with a seam like so. It's almost there. you can use a kitchen spreading knife or something like that to work open the seam or even a guitar pick. Okay, the bezel is off now. And we need to get to the screws that are holding the screen on the side to the metal mounting bracket. And these screws are right here, so they're almost accessible. But we need to pull the screen forward from the screen assembly to get to them. So, and what we need to do is remove the two screws on top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the screen lid. Like so. And 
Okay, and when I remove each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, so when you're putting the laptop back together, you can keep track of your screws. Okay, so now we pull forward a little bit, and this screw is accessible on the side, but this screw is still not. So we have another trick when we have this situation, is the hinge screws on the bottom, I don't remove them, I just loosen them a little bit so that the screen can tilt forward a little bit easier. Like so. And now once we loosen the hinge screws, we can get to the side screws that are holding the screen. Now when you start this part, make sure your screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. One and two, there's two screws on each side. So this just, as soon as you remove those screws, the screen just kind of fell back. So it's a lot better than falling forward. One. And two. It's the Memorial Day weekend, so I figure I get this video done early. So people that have this problem on Memorial Day have somewhere to go. All right, so once we loosen the screw, remove the screws, we tilt the screen forward. And let's look at the screen. There's only one connection. It's an LED screen. And it's connected by a cable down here. And this connector is secured by some adhesive tape. Okay, we lift up the tape, and usually on the back of the connector assembly, there's also some adhesive. And on the back of the video cable, there's some adhesive that's attached to the screen. So we check we lift that up before we can pull it out. And once we lift that up, we pull the connector out, like so. All right, before we go any further, I'm going to give a little tutorial on how to put the connector back in. This is, I've seen, the biggest source of problem. So when you have a new screen, you slide the connector in, and you should feel a click when you slide it in. And there should not be a gap between the two connectors. So let's get a close-up and see what it looks like. Okay, this is a good focus. Okay, pause the video right here, and this is what your connector should look like once properly connected. You don't see a little seam between the two connections. Okay, so now that we got this figured out, let's take a look at the screen. This is a standard 17.3 inch LED screen with a connector on the bottom left as 99% of the cases right now. Let's take a look at the part number. It's LP173WD1. That's all you need to know when you order it. Now this screen, um, when you do order the screen, when you do receive it, the part number that you receive most likely will not match that number. It will be compatible parts, but that's okay. It will work fine. And also, like most screens, this screen has a glossy finish. All right, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the repair. And also we have a compatibility guarantee. If we send you the wrong screen, and if it doesn't work, we'll send you the right one. So uh, go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy a screen, and the link for the G7 should be there. Okay, so when you do get your new screen in, you put it back in, connect the connector as I showed you, put the screen back on the mounting brackets, tighten these screws on here, and put these screws on, snap the bezel back on, and put the screws for the bezel back on, and you're done, and you should be good to go. And that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Henrikovich. 
on the laptop screen dock, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.